Governor, you're here today at the uh, MET company to talk about a new educational program. How important are those kinds of things to the, the health of the furniture industry in North Carolina? Extremely important because right now there's a skills gap in our nation and in our state regarding people who can make things, build things, repair things, innovate things. And if we have those skills gap, we can't compete for especially manufacturing jobs, not only throughout the Southeast, but throughout the United States and throughout the world. So the connectivity with uh, Guilford Tech is extremely important. And the connectivity between this great company and Guilford Tech helps fill that jobs gap and get people jobs and careers. So we're not just talking about jobs, we're talking about careers. And the furniture industry is coming back to North Carolina and to the United States. The furniture industry is what helped build the triad, and it's it, it's it's coming back because of the skilled labor, because of the better uh, manufacturing techniques that is now competing against uh, uh, China and other countries that were stealing from the manufacturing trade. But that trade now is coming back because of the because of the logistics and getting the product to the consumer quicker and specialty orders. But more than anything else, it's because of the talent that we're now getting from this region. You know, there's a long history of um, manufacturing and furniture talent in the triad. I grew up right here next to High Point in Guilford County, and um, this is the way it was. We, we grew in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. Then we had a little downturn. It's coming back up, and to have a, a Guilford County made in Guilford County, made in North Carolina is a tremendous attribute to uh, investors here and also uh, uh, an attribute to the skills that we're training right here in Guilford County in North Carolina. Now the furniture industry has been impacted by things that are well beyond the state level, global factors. What role can the state play and even the, the local governments play in helping to support industry in this area? Well the thing that we can do, and I might have the congressman react at the federal level, but uh, at the state level, we're trying to reward manufacturers instead of punishing companies. And we're doing that through a, a more simplified and productive tax code, which rewards manufacturing instead of punishing them. And that's why we lowered the income tax by 2% and the corporate tax by 2%. So we reward productivity. And we now have a more of a consumption tax uh, as opposed to a tax on employment. And I think that encourages more employers to come here. In addition, we have uh, uh, a more friendly regulatory environment where if a new plant is developing or growing here in Guilford County, we're going to work and treat our manufacturer as a customer as opposed to an adversary. So, Congressman, from a trade standpoint, you might have some ideas. Well, too. you just piggyback right off of, right of where I was going with that. We've got a couple of trade agreements right now that we want to make sure enhances that movement back that the governor's talking about in manufacturing in our district. We're seeing an uptick in it. And what we want to do from the federal level is make sure we are enhancing that growth and not doing anything to discourage it that we ship those jobs. Talk about it more than just jobs, but careers. And I think we're seeing this, and of course, with the mayor, with High Point bringing attention to some of our local manufacturers, it only allows us from the federal level to continue to process and enhance that as we move forward. And Mayor, you're probably doing some things at the local level that are again encouraging we're, growth in the furniture market. Are, all, of, all of our uh, job improvement is sort of oriented towards making sure that we include and, and focus our efforts on bringing uh, furniture jobs back to High Point. I know you were involved in the budget space program yeah. and you came and visited us. Yeah. And we, we're, that's the type of success we're having. We know that uh, the North Carolinians build a quality product. It's one of the reasons that furniture is coming back to this market. And we're continuing to invest in the furniture market here, too, and promote the furniture market and develop partnerships with uh, both Guilford County and the city of High Point on how we can continue to grow the furniture market and promote it to bring travel and tourism. What can companies themselves do to work more effectively with the government and uh, at the well, state, let's, local, let's and federal? Let's ask one of our great local companies. Well, uh, the relationship... Uh, development project we had with TTC was, right. was fabulous. We were, uh, the, the timing of it was wonderful. We had consolidated two factories into one. Um, there was team building. There was um, uh, 5S, which is a training, uh, an efficiency uh, training, uh, as well as lean manufacturing. So their outreach was, was wonderful for us and, and began the process of making us more and more competitive each year.
And the, the more competitive we are, the more we're going to sell, the more we're going to hire to snowball. And we're rewarding now the community colleges. In fact, we're about to, uh, I'm recommending a over $2 billion bond referendum, and over two ma 100 million of that will be directed toward community colleges. And we're really emphasizing the sciences, engineering, and the trades, and where the money is directed to our universities, which include North Carolina NT and, and Winston-Salem State, just in this immediate area, in, in encouraging those industries that make things and design things and build things. And uh, Guilford Tech is a role model of how it's done and how we want it to be done throughout the rest of the state. That seems like a shift somewhat in the educational priorities, right? We're from, from what we think of as the classic education to a, a new emphasis on jobs for the 21st century. Well, we used to say everyone had to get a four-year college degree, and now we need to apply what does the market need, both in four-year college degrees and in two-year degrees exactly. or certification. And I think a lot of the education is going to be directed more towards certification also, so people can get, in, get their education, their skills, and get to the workplace as soon as possible, especially experienced workers in their 30s, 40s, and 50s who might need retraining. And we need to cut through some of the bureaucracy of the education system to get the people they need as quick as they can. And, and in our community colleges, now we're talking about year-round community colleges and not taking the summer off. Because if you're unemployed, you can't wait for the summer. You need to get the training as quick as possible. It, Congressman, with 1,500 skilled positions available just in Guilford County, the community college is sometimes the quickest access to getting to that place. And that's why, as the governor says, teaching and instructing to a position, as opposed to just general study sometimes, is a more rapid way of getting that person back in the workforce. Is it working here in Guilford County? It is working. Uh, in the beginning, it was establishing um, leaner principles for the manufacturing. Yeah meaning make us more competitive, more efficient on a daily basis. Yeah. So that set the, the platform for us to perform right. growth. And then moving our showroom closer to the action here in High Point has been incredibly rewarding because I can see uh, it's the beginning phases of the ultimate objective of what we wanted to do with right. GTC, right. which is more, you know, more jobs. Right. Thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you. Thank you, Thank you, you gentlemen, for your time.